Okay, on this video, we're gonna show you how to do multiple GPU benchmarking. So you open the app, and then it's gonna show you how many GPUs you have. In this case here, we got four 2080 Ti's. How are we gonna select all of them? How you could see on the previous previous video, running one GPU, it gives us 282 images per second. Now, we're gonna start running on two GPUs and see how the performance increase. So we're going to create just two GPUs for now. You're going to select the same benchmark, Resnet 50, and the same parameters. By site 32, FP32, and 1,000 iterations per second, or 1,000 times the test is going to be running. We're going to click Apply, and then we're going to run the benchmark. Now, on the right side, instantly, we can see that two GPUs being utilized right now and it's using almost all the gigabytes of the of the VRAM on these GPUs. Usually they come with 11 gigabyte and it's using 10,856. So it's maxing out the GPU. Water consumption is at the maximum, uh, almost at the maximum, and the utilization of the GPU is 95%. It's utilizing all the CUDA cores and tensor cores. So you can see now the images per second is 538, 560. It goes up and down, but it's gonna keep around 520. On a previous video, one GPU was 286. So you multiply that by two and it's almost linear, the performance. Increasing the two GPUs, it will give you almost double of the performance on the computer. So now we're gonna stop the test. And then we're gonna select all four GPUs. And remember, this work up to eight or 10 GPUs. So you can launch it. And now we should have all the GPUs running at 100%. This is very important and really helps uh, companies that sell hardware to really uh, stress out the GPUs with a powerful and complete solution, DLBT benchmark. That allows you to make sure the GPUs are shipped properly when you ship, uh, the GPUs are working properly when you ship to your customers. And you don't have to worry about RMAs or DOA of this GPU. So right now, as you can see here, it's using all the gigabytes of the memory. All four GPUs are running at 100%, utilizing all the wattage. And now your video card will start getting hot. For In this case, you can see it's 46, 41, 51 degrees Celsius, because this is running on a water cooling system. Air cooling will be running at 85, 86, and that's when the GPU can get some problems, because higher temperature will damage the hardware for the long term. So you can run this benchmark for two, three hours, and you will understand I will show an error immediately if the GPU has some problems. As you can see, we got 170 images per second, and we went from 281 on just one GPU to 870 on four GPUs. Means that the image classification increased almost double or triple or quadruple every time you increase one GPU. On the benchmark, we have made a line colored Indicating that if there is a green light, it means that your hardware is good for the kind of model that is being uh, benchmarking. If it's red, it means it will work. You don't have to worry about it. It's always better to have more compute power. Remember, if you don't want to install anything on the command line or you don't know anything about Linux, you can buy a pre-made uh, pre software from us, which we sell an SSD that you can just connect it to a computer you want to test on it and there's nothing else to do. You install it, you connect the SSD, open it up, double click the application and you can run the same that you see on this video. Okay, so we finished and we got a score 870. So this, the test keep very stable because the temperature was really nice, like 41, 51 degrees Celsius. And now we're going to share and upload for everyone to see it. Just put your username again. And click upload results. Now if we go to the website, let's refresh. And then we go to Resnet 50. So you can see here, we got our new benchmark. Okay, I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you have any comment or any question, you can always send an email to us at support at technopremium.com and one of our engineers will get back to you in less than two hours.